Hi guys, this is Suzanne HB, Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram, and this tutorial will be on my design I've called one of the longest names ever, In the Hall of the Mountain King. This is one of a series that I named after a music, classical music suite. Um, so, by Ed, Edvard Grieg, um, called Pier Gint, Pier Gint Suite. Um, and In the Hall of the Mountain King is a most magnificent um, piece of music. So um, I thought that this piece looked rather royal, so in the series In the Hall of the Mountain King suited it. So this is actually the front uh, section, or the front view, of In the Hall of the Mountain King, and this is actually the back view, which is uh, quite pretty as well. Um, on the front, the I'll show you the real one, the chain actually sits up a little, so this border sits a little flatter along the edge and when you wear it on the other way the chain actually sits down inside like a channel inside those gold edges. Alrighty, so this does have a pickup stitch so if you've ever done any work with any of my uh, pickup stitches you'll know what's coming. It's really not a difficult one to do, it's just getting the pickup stitch and you're away. The base of it is a single chain so in this one I've done uh, metallics rainbow loom brand metallics and you'll find that you need to do a chain that's a little bit shorter than your wrist size for the middle because it does get stretched out a little as it goes we're going to be hooking the border into each uh, loop of that single chain as we go so I'm not going to do a full bracelet to demonstrate this today um, I've just got a section here in white and I'm going to do a border in metallic purple. The metallics go really nicely in this. I haven't tried it with um, opaques or other bands. I imagine it just wouldn't sit up as solidly. Uh, you might have to watch out for twisting and it might not end up being quite as thick because you'll be using the thinner bands. But other than that, I think the opaque should hold the form of, uh, of this detail in here. Alrighty, so I'm assuming that you know how to do a single chain with the hook. You start with the cap band and then just pull a band through and continue that to the length that you think. It's not critical whether you get the length completely right or not because if you get up to here and you go, ooh, that's not looking long enough for my wrist, you just undo the slip knot and add a few more chains. If you finish the length of the band and you think, oh, you know what, I've got way too many chains, you just finish it wherever you are and then get rid of what you don't need. So you always, when I'm doing these chain-based designs, we always work from the cap band so that you've got that flexibility. You're not kind of locked into the estimate that you made at the beginning. Alrighty. So... To start with, we're going to go through this cap band, face the cap band up so that you can look through a circle. The cap band looks like a circle rather than sideways. We're going to go up through the cap band and get two of the border colour. One, two, and that's our start. Okay, so with the cap band facing down, or facing open I guess, so it looks like an O, we're going to go up through that same direction and grab another border band and bring it through everything. And we're going to reach down, and this is where the pickup stitch comes. When you've got a band that's going through like this, it's a it's a loop, okay, or a, you know it goes around in a circuit. So there's a hole in the middle of the band. So we're going down through that hole in the middle of the band, and we're going to pick up this right hand loop here. It's easier to do than to demonstrate, but hopefully you'll be able to see. So in that one, I'm just picking up the right hand loop of the chain that came beforehand. and then you hook it on. You should have three on there. And you're going to grab another border color 
and simply put it through all three on there. Then we're going to go into the next chain coming up and do the same thing. So we pull the band all the way through. I don't know which is the easiest way for you to see. That's probably the easiest to see, but it's the hardest for me to demonstrate. So when I say I'm going down through that band that you're pulling through, you'll know that I'm going down through that hole. So you're going to go over the top of this right hand one, down through that band there, and you're going to grab just that right hand loop there. Pull it back up through the band. Rehook, you've got three on there. That's the entirety of the sequence all the way up to the end of the band. Okay, hook that through. So when you're coming back to do the pickup stitch, it's this right hand loop here that you're picking up. So you've got three loops on there, and it's this right hand loop you're picking up. So we'll go again, coming up through so that they're all exiting with the bracelet flat. We don't want to have it turned over and you know have it exiting like that so that it's all twisted. And I've got it stuck. So we need to bring it up so it's all going in the same direction. So again, we grab another border band, pull it through all of them. over the top of that band, inside, grab the far right hand loop, which sometimes you can just see coming through like that. See how it's that right hand loop that was on there? Pull that through and attach. Again, grabbing that border band and pulling it through all three. So this is going to be the band that's going to be picked up. The one on the right. It's really cute. <laughs> Even if I do say so myself. It's one of my favourite ones that I've done. I just went, oh my goodness, that works out really well. Okay, so it goes up. Pull through a border band through all of them. You're going to go down through that band. Let's see if I can catch it from underneath this time. Down through that band in between this gap between those two purple bands. I'm going to go through there and it doesn't really matter how you get this band whether you put, go this way and pull those out of the way and grab a hold of that loop, pull it back up, so long as it's only grabbing that band and it's coming back up through the band you're pulling through, you're alright. Board a band and pulling it through. Coming up again, pulling it through, down through that loop, picking up the right hand loop. And if you're finding you're having trouble getting that right hand loop to come up, you can always go out one side or the other. Then we bring another of the border bands through and attach again. Okay, so I'll show you how we can do it with um, coming out the side to grab that side band, that loop that we're going to capture. So going up through, bringing this band through all of them, bringing that hook down through the center, 
pushing out to the side towards yourself and using your hook just to grab that one, that loop, bringing it back towards the band, pulling it up. It's quite a fast way of doing it, grabbing another band and bringing it through. Now you'll find as you go, this will start to give a little bit of a twist, but don't worry because when we uh, do the other side, it'll even itself up. So don't worry if it starts to twist a little bit. Pulling back up through. Pulling it through. Going down between those two purple bands in the center there, pushing out to the side and grabbing that outside loop hope you can see what I'm doing there and bringing it up grabbing that band and pulling it through don't get it caught on that one okay I'll keep going on this make sure we've got the pick up stitch Pulling it through all of them, try and get it to a good angle so that you can actually see the light on the bands. Okay, so this is the stitch of the loop that we're aiming to pick up. So we're going to go down inside there, push it out towards ourselves, push the hook through that loop and pick it up back through that hole. And then pop the next band through. Okay, I might just keep going on that. Hopefully the more I demonstrate, the more sense it'll make. Just trying to get that in a good view. You know you picked up the right band if it's the one that's crossing under this band here. See how that one's looping out to the side? If you've picked up the right band, it'll be the one that's being crossed by that. See, it's starting to be more consistent as we go. Keep it steady. Coming up. Bring it through all. Down between the purple. Grab that outside. Now, you don't want to grab it from outside and around here and bring it up through. So you need to be inside this band to pick up that one and bring it through in front of it. I might finish it with this one. Bring it through. Down through that band. Out in front of the, to the side of there. Pick up that band. Bring it through. And reattach. Very easy at the top. When you reach the length that you think you need. 
you'll have just sorry I'm out of shot you'll have just two bands there and all you need to do is to find the next chain coming from underneath it like so and then you can get rid of any chain excess chain that you don't need make sure you've hooked that through so it's not going to fall off and I would just pop a band through that to hold it until we finish the other side okay now the other side I would recommend that you do the other way facing you which is what I've recommended for all my borders because <clears throat> pardon me you're going from underneath and when you're going from underneath you'll end up with a consistent um, pattern down one side because it is a reversible pattern sorry so yes it's reversible in the sense that the pattern is quite different on one side and the other and you don't want that on the opposite side of that running down here so we start in exactly the same way and if we do it this way we will end up with um, the same kind of hand action that you've already learned okay so we're coming through we're going to grab two chains to start off with just as before as before coming up through that band and once you've come up through that band you can turn your hook over where you're comfortable pull a band through all of those and it's the same thing going down through that yeah I just got out of shot then so I'll redo that <clears throat> nice and twisted okay so we've got our two chains I'll try and keep it in shot this time sorry I think I moved my iPad when I was looking at something okay so we've got our two chains and we're going to come from underneath and up. Now this first one is a little bit tricky. We're going to pull the band through and we're going to keep it facing a little bit this way so that you can see what I'm doing. Because what we need to do is actually go the same thing down through this band. Finding out the right hand side band is a little bit trickier. We just grab band there and bring it up through now I wouldn't worry too much if you don't grab quite the right band on there it's all going to come out in the wash well that's that thin band we're working on don't want that okay so the next one is a band just pull through those ones left on the hook through three so again, we're going to come up through there, pull this through that, and through these ones. Now, we should be finding it a little bit easier. We see that one there is going to be the one we want to pick up on the right there. So we're going down, picking that one up on the right, and reattaching. Same as before. So even though you're working on the reverse side of the bracelet, if you turn it around and face it towards you to start with, to get it going, to bring it up through that middle, and then pulling that through, turning it over, pulling it all the way through, like so, you'll have the same hand action down through there, push it aside, grab that right hand and hook it back on. Pull that one through. It's harder to demonstrate, it's not actually that much harder to do but it's harder to demonstrate and show you what I mean. Alright, so we've got, just grabbing a couple more bands. We're going to get a band to pull all the way through. So once it's through there, turn it over 
and pull it through those two. Go down through that band and grab the right hand band, same as before, and it's the one that's crossed over by this outside band here. Pull it back up through that band you're pulling through. Put it back on. And pull an extra band through. So hopefully we are now creating the same look on this side and the same look on this side. It's like we're being fairly successful in that. <coughs> so I'll just do a few more. Okay, so we're going up through. Pulling the band through that centre. Turning it over, pulling it through those side two. Going down through it. Picking up. right hand loop, pulling that through, reattaching and grabbing another band, pulling it through all three. Again up through, pulling it through that center, turning it so that you now got this facing down, going through between those two purple, through that hole in between and grabbing that right hand loop, bring it back up through there and reattaching, grabbing a right hand, sorry, grabbing a border band and pulling it through. So that's the reverse side, so you can see that the chain is sitting down a little inside that and here's the front side and you can see that the chain sits a little bit higher in there. Okay, I'll do a few now. I'm not saying too much, just giving you a demo. by now you've got the hang of it. Coming back this other way. This will be my last one. to the one on the other side. So I've got those two bands at the top there. 
and we've got these two centre bands which we've secured with the side bands from the other side so I'll carefully undo that so all we're going to do is secure this by sliding a hook through all three sets of two bands two outside border bands the centre chain band and the two outside border bands and then you can either do that with a white or a purple or an outside border and there you have it in the Hall of the Mountain King so it's been a fairly long tutorial I was hoping that I could give you enough times to demonstrate it because it can be a little bit tricky working out your loops but hopefully that has been helpful and if you're still not sure you can rewind if it has been uh, useful for you can you please give me a like and you might want to subscribe I've got other tutorials coming out and if you are on Instagram check me out on Instagram crazy just might work and if you do make this design I'd love to see it please tag me on your pictures and in your comments and if you could also hashtag crazy just might work and I know it's gonna be a long one but in the hall of the mountain king bracelet Alright, thanks guys. I'll catch you later. Bye.